When it comes to all the different exotic breeds of dogs, like the sled pulling Alaskan Malamute, the towering Irish Wolfhound, and the newly AKC recognized breed Leonbergers, many families nowadays stick to getting one of the more commonly known canine companions, such as Golden Retrievers, German Shepherds, or some of the smaller dogs like the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Yorkies, and even the Shelties. What they don't know is that there is one breed that has just as much as love and affection as all the others, but this breed can actually physically do work for you and even save your life. Who is this mystery dog? Meet the Newfoundland. This large, furry drool machine often gets mistaken for a big, fuzzy teddy bear, but they're one of the sweetest dogs on the planet. Newfies are definitely known as gentle giants because of their size, but also because they are such a, a low-key breed. Their personalities have been bred to be very loyal. Their demeanor is very non-threatening. I think a lot of people, when they see a large dog, they get a little intimidated. But we've never seen an uh, aggressive Newfoundland at our practice at all. First of all, a Newfoundland is a large dog. He's got to be an athletic dog in order to fulfill his tasks that we ask. Balanced dog, good angulation, and he should be able to move, and he's also got to, has to have a wonderful temperament. I've always loved dogs ever since a kid, and I, we had horses, so I, when my wife and I got married, we decided to get a dog as big as a horse, and their sweet, gentle temperament was won us over, and I've always liked to swim, so it was, always, it was a perfect match for us. They're a large, sweet disposition dog. They are bred for temperament first, and then the standard written by the AKC, and our parent club states that the temperament is the most important characteristic of the breed. The American Kennel Club recognizes four Newfie coat colors, black, the breed's most commonly found color, lands ear, which is a mix of black and white coloring, brown or cinnamon, and gray. Even though they're one of nature's biggest sweethearts, Newfoundlands are members of the Working Dog Group, which means they were bred to do just that, work. Newfies can compete in four separate breed sports that express their working heritage. Confirmation, where handlers showcase their Newfies appearance, companionship, where they can perform different levels of obedience, water rescue, where noofs can become animal lifeguards, and draft work, where owners can attach carts to their dogs and pull heavy objects. If a newfie is able to excel in all four of these events, they can obtain one of the highest titles known to their breed, the title of being a versatile Newfoundland. The Newfoundland Club of America, I believe, created this in 1983. Actually. It was on my suggestion. I was president of the Newfoundland Club of America at the time, and of course my dogs did all these things, and there were other breeds that had versatile titles that reflected their breed's heritage, and I think it serves the breed really well because it is, by getting a championship, they are a dog that meets the standard, and then being draft dogs and companion dogs and water rescue dogs, they have uh, done what they were originally bred to do. They would have to earn their American championship. And so you're good looking and now you have to be smart as well and obedient so you have to get a basic uh, AKC obedience title, the CD title. And then they want to prove that you can do both your instinctual working activities, one being the draft work, so you have to have a DD or it's called a draft dog title, which is awarded by the Newfoundland Club of America. And then they want you to do the senior water rescue title, the water rescue dog. So you can prove that you can do also what's instinctual is to be a water rescue dog. So you have to be good looking, smart, and, and carry your heritage through working as well. So that's why we decided those, if you get those four titles, you could be a VN. Even though Newfies are strong dogs, when exercising or training your Newf, you must be careful about overworking underdeveloped bones when they're still young. Just because they're big doesn't mean they're fully grown up yet. With the large breed dogs, because they start out as these cute little fuzzy things, they're very small, but within a year, they can grow uh, and add on 90 pounds to their body frame. So that rapid growth can put a lot of stress on their bones. There is a condition called panosteitis, uh, which is almost like growing pains in people. So if they grow too rapidly, there's too much weight and strain on their bones. So their diet is important. Um, it is important to uh, feed a, a rather modified or lower protein type diet so that they're not gaining so much weight as quickly as possible. Newfoundlands are truly one of a kind with their big hearts and loving personalities. Their working abilities as well as their endless affection truly set them apart from all others. Who knew one breed could be so versatile?